Well, hello there, everybody. It's about night two, aka Nightmare. I disappointed my mom because I dropped out of college, and welcome back to the night in the woods. In the last episode, we disappointed our mom because we dropped out of college. So we need to work on some stuff, apparently. So, uh, apparently things are somewhat okay with B. Um, Greg's okay too. Uh, I'm a little bit nervous about, you know, <clears throat> talking to mom. I'm sincerely hoping that <clears throat> things are, uh, better. Hmm. We're all looking a bit older, I guess. Take, like, one moment and make it, like, the official version of us. Oh, wait, we already said that. I wonder if the new cl working clock downstairs thinks this clock is scary. Big like, old thing upstairs. Like, you, but different, huge, and spooky. Making weird noises at night. Maybe. Ah, I can't find this thing spooky. It's a piece of granddad. We need more of those. See, that has, like, implications that maybe she had a good relationship with granddad. I'm assuming. You're just, like, the same every day? What's your bird existence like? Do 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 we have any detective books out here? Do 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 Of course! Of course we do. Do we have any books about ghosts? Like real life ghosts? Do we have any books for nut jobs, I guess? No, this is good. Research is good. Confront the problem head on. You're not losing it, dude. You are, in fact, keeping it. Very close. Are you okay, May? Did that talk yesterday really mess us up? Honestly, I would not be surprised if it did mess us up. Actually, here's the thing. Uh, I'm gonna make an effort to try to explore just a tiny bit more. Also, I am gonna go back through here just in case there might be more dialogue. Never know. I was lied to! The question is, do I hang out with B? Or do I hang out with Greg? I ha- I hung- Okay, here we go. Hey, hon. Yeah? Come say hello, why don't you? Okay. Uh. Hey, hon. Hey, Mom. You look really tired. So do you. Also, I have a splitting headache. Well, the weather seems to agree with you. Gray and drizzly. I could go for that today. Hey, hon. Yeah? I'm sorry about yesterday. Okay, now, I think you, I think both could apologize in this situation, like, I, here's the thing, she has every right to be upset and stressed because from the details that we had gotten here from her mom, uh, May's parents, both of them, put in a lot <clears throat> to hope that May would succeed in college. They... Worked their asses off for years. And I imagine not only the disappointment, but the anger, the sadness, all of that would be really hard to comprehend as soon as they realized, oh, our daughter just dropped out of college. The thing that we've been building toward. I can completely understand it in a way. Maybe I don't. And maybe that's not the right word I was looking for. But you guys get what I refer to. I do feel like they both got a little too heated. And they could apologize to each other. And hopefully May understands, like, why her mother was so darn upset. Also, something that I want to point out here. With that detail about them potentially not being in this house anymore, there's something that I noticed that kind of shows, like, they may not be able to. Look in the lower left corner. There's tape on the corner of that area of this doorway. 
that is potentially showing that either it's the wallpaper that's falling apart, or there's like a hole there, or some sort of leak or something. That could easily be an early indication that there is something not entirely right with this house. Maybe. Also, are we not going to go over the fact that somebody got kidnapped last night? Really? Anyway. Me too. I said some stuff. I didn't really mean it. Well, whether you meant it or not, that isn't how we should communicate. I don't want us to stop talking. I just don't want a repeat of a few years ago. Wait, a repeat of a few years ago? I'm really sorry, Mom. About all of it. Hey, hey? Are you okay? I'm fine. I guess I'm stressed too. I saw some weird stuff last night. Or, I think I did. Do you want to talk about it? Later. I, I'm still like putting it together. Can we talk about school? Also later. Fuck. So, what are you stressed about? Also, I want to go ahead and point out here, the thing that I was hoping would happen, seemingly did happen a little bit here, like, emotions got a little too high, and on top of the um, finances that we got a little bit earlier with May's, you know, mom, I can imagine it all boiling it over. And she accidentally, she unfortunately took it out on her, but May reciprocated and the two got into an argument. Like, I can imagine that's something that May maybe inherited from her. Like, we all inherit some aspects of our parents. Or anybody that raised us. Like, I know I've got some bad habits that my dad has. I got some bad habits that my mom does. But they do combine each other and kind of balance one another out, thus creating the weird doofus that you guys apparently watch. But, uh, you know, I'm glad that they weren't still at each other's throats. Because May's mom did not strike me as that kind of person. You know what I mean? Well, I guess you're a grown-up now. Just spill it, Mom. After your incident a few years back, as you know, we went into some debt smoothing that over. Oh, there's a bit of an... Oh. So something that... Okay. Okay. This really adds quite a bit. Okay. We went into debt smoothing that over. With the early implications and the early details that we got here, May may have gotten into... I'm going to assume she got into a brawl or some sort of severe fight. I'm going to make this assumption here. And that resulted in a very heavily costing court case. That has been because I'm going to make the assumption May was potentially the one marked as guilty. Let's just, again, I'm just going with the assumption of the details that I've got right now. And this family had to pay out the family that May essentially affected. So, I'm assuming that right there what it is. They probably had to pay out a certain amount of sum. They had to set, or maybe they even settled out of court for a certain sum because we don't have any details that May was like imprisoned or anything like that. She was still able to go to college for crying out loud. So, that makes me go with the assumption that potentially they settled out of court so that way it wouldn't go on May's record. I don't, I don't know how the legal system actually works all that well, but I know that if... People want to kind of smooth things out a little bit. They will usually settle out of court so that way if there's no ultra costly legal proceedings. But even then, settling out of court can result in a large sum, which is what I'm getting here. Jeez, I'm, I'm still so sorry about that. It's in the past. Let's not go back over it. Okay. When it came time to get you off to school... We took advantage of a kind of mortgage to make sure you were taken care of. Oh, they took a mortgage out in the house? Okay. 
Well, it turns out it wasn't a very good deal. And... just feels so stupid. They like to offer these mortgages to people who maybe don't have a lot of money and aren't used to getting offers like this. Why? Because the bank took advantage of us. And now they own the house. And we owe them more than it's worth. What does that mean? It means we're not sure how long into the future we'll have the house. Holy crap, we're in trouble, huh? And I'm a huge jerk. It's okay, sweetie. Don't worry. God. Uh, of a lot. Um, what you're eating? It's a book of unsolvable murders. Umineko? Did they all happen? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Sure. Want to hear a real teaser? Yeah. I'm not even... I mean, yes, absolutely. All right. Okay, so there's a man lying dead in the kitchen with a bullet wound in his head. There's a man there with him. He's got some blood on his right hand, but no gun. Huh. Last thing, the dead guy has a scar on the back of his head. Do you know the answer? Well, I don't know if, there e there, if there's one answer. Most of the text is black, so I'm I'm not seeing any red truths here or anything like that. Wait. What? It's supposed to get you thinking. About murder? Uh, no. I think this is probably the... You should have been a detective. I would have loved that. Okay, so I have a question. What kind of scar does the dead guy have? Who's the other guy in the room? What else is in the room? Oh, actually, yeah, that would be the... Well... Scar on the back of the guy's head. These are actually... Actually, I would ask all three of these questions, but I guess I have to st uh, stick with the one that I would ask first. Um... Uh, I guess the first thing that I would ask before... Like, what... Here's the thing, like... I would ask all these, but here would be the order that I would do it. First, I would ask, who's the other guy in the room? Then I would ask, what else is in the room? And then finally, I would inquire about the scar on the dead guy. So I'm going to stick with the first one. Who's the other guy in the room? The suspect is clearly upper middle class. That's not super helpful. Maybe he, like, ski tripped him to death somehow? Yeah, he whacked him in the jacuzzi in his backyard. I... what? Okay, I think I got it. Oh, wow, what you got? The guy in the room is a surgeon. He implanted a magnet in the dead guy's skull. That's why he has that scar. Then the suspect used a super magnet or something on the dead guy's forehead, which pulled the magnet out through the dude's head. <laughs> and that's why he has blood on one hand. Yep, and I bet the murder weapons are stuck to the fridge. Holding up a pic of Aunt Dottie. Oh, bravo, sweetie. Thank you, thank you. We'd make quite a pair of investigators. Could open a detective agency in town. Could use one right now, probably. Always work for crime solvers. All right, I'm gonna get going. Love you, daughter, detective. You too, Inspector Mom. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, that is that is really good. That is good. That was the one thing. That was, like, something that I was, like, super... Okay, don't get me wrong. The mystery about what the hell I just witnessed. Like, kidnapping and all that. But, like, I was super worried about the relationship between May and the mom. But, like I said, there are several factors that would cause the mom to have, like, this bottled up stress. And now I have that confirmation. So the bank is screwing them over, huh? What a fucking shock. Can't trust banks at all. But I am glad that the two seemingly kind of made up and apologized to each other. Like, that's one detail. that The fact that they both apologized to each other. Because in the, in the end, they were both in the wrong. But the fact that they were able to recognize that and kind of mend a little bit makes me a little bit happier and a little bit more hopeful. And I do hope that May actually takes this to, like, 
and takes it seriously from now on. Like, it really does seem like this story is focusing around May's experience and how the world around her is changing and that there's a lot of growing up that she has to do. That's what I'm thinking. Ooh. No joke, the weather is gloomy. At least a little bit. One thing that I'm going to do is, one comment kind of pointed this out there, apparently there still are more things that I've been missing out. God damn it. There are still some things that I've been missing out on, and I should probably focus on climbing on the uh, power lines, which is what I'm going to do. Because I, I realize there's also a shortcut that I could do to get to. Hey, yo! How's it going, Selmers? How was your Halloween? Weird. Went to Harfest. Saw some messed up shit that I think was real. Then I had a really bad nightmare. Cool. I stayed in and ate candy and watched TV. That's kind of how it is for me in Halloween usually. We usually get, we still get Halloween uh, trick or treaters at my house usually. And sometimes what I like to do is instead of giving them like the fun sized candy bars, I usually like to try to get like a bunch of the full size ones because that was something that I always looked forward to as a kid because I remember we had this one elderly lady in my town and. Oh my god, she was the sweetest little soul. I remember, it was like, for like a, I, I, the only reason I remember is because it happened like maybe like twice. No, three times. It was like once, twice, and then second. Because I remember specifically one year I was dressed up as, um, I think it was Django Fett? Boba Fett. It was something little. Um, but what, anyway, that's off the point. That's beside the point. What she would usually do is that she would always give us full sized candy bars. So, every time that we would go, it, that whenever we went over there, I remember she gave me like, I can't remember if it was like a Milky Way or a Snickers, those two are two, so goddamn similar to me, but the fact that she just gave us a full on candy bar, and she would do that to like all of the kids, like she, she was like the best house that people would go to during Halloween, and she was this, she was just so sweet, she barely like uh, decorated her house, but I do, like, I'm just saying, she was like the, she was so sweet. But that's something that I like to do. I would usually just buy, if I can get like a big pack of like the uh, uh, large size candy bars, that's what I'll usually do. And sometimes I'll just like, see if, if I see like kids, I'll be like, okay, don't tell your parents, here's a big candy bar or stuff like that. Just to kind of brighten up their night. Because nobody likes the fun size ones. The fun size ones are good, but usually what really brightens up a kid's day is giving them a full on candy bar, especially for Halloween. You know what I mean? Halloween episodes were on. Well, I was out living a Halloween episode, okay? Whoa. Yep. Want to hear a new poem? Yes! Autumn winds. Autumn sins. Okay. Autumn times. Autumn crimes. What counts as an autumn sin? What's considered an autumn crime? Robbing a gas station then blowing it up. In November. Okay, yeah, that, that yeah, no, no, yeah, that, that actually does make sense. Kind of a little bit. Hey, Mr. Chesikov! Yes, Selma? You're gonna break your neck someday! I will make sure to fall right on you. <laughs> well, I'm a big enough target! <laughs> well, I'm bigger than you. We should be covered. You too. Leaves, leaves, leaves. That poem? Nope. Okay, you're cool. The Mrs. Varnish this porch herself. Don't go dragging mud all over it. Don't tell me what to do, loser. Power lines, nobody's gonna stop me. Wait, that's weird. I thought I could reach up there. Oh, I can. I just got to get the angle right. Motherfucker! Oh, wait. It's over here. Okay, hold on. Told you. I told you. I am a master gymnast. I think. 
Regardless, I wonder if we can even see anything. Oh my god, there's so much fog. When that door's gonna open? This May Borowski. Present. Mm, smell of the autumn winds. Yeah, hard to miss it. One should not miss such a thing. Making, talking of, I want to see some stars. Yeah. <laughs> Come have a look. Okay. I'm blind! This is your own fault at this point, I would say. That was quick. Found one. Let's see. Ooh. Big snake. Big snake? Yep. Anything else? I saw a big snake once. At the zoo. Well, on scouts we were hiking, and, and one was sunning itself on a rock. Oh, what a treat. I was thinking it's rare to see a snake just randomly relaxing. What's up with this one? Big snake emerged from the earth and made war upon the villages. What villages? Oh, you know, villages. Okay. And as he wrapped himself around them, the villagers saw that they were encircled by the same... Big snake. And they came together, and together slew the... Big snake. Burn. Why did Big Snake attack the people? Do you have sympathy for the big snake? He's I don't know, but can we just keep saying big snake? <laughs> big snake. Big snake. Big. Snake. Absolutely. Big snake indeed. I guess first I'll just check the upper left area first. There it is! Start located, Captain. Oh, let us consult the guide. Oh, you will like this one. Really? Because they are dead. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, I'm into it. Gramercy, the medium. In life he spoke with the dead. Really? Who knows? But when he died, his own spirit returned and spoke through him. Wait. That's dumb. How so? That's just called being alive. How did... Wait. What? His own spirit possessed his body. That's like literally the same thing as being alive. No, no, no. He was dead, but possessed. By himself. Yes. Oh god, this is dumb. So, what's the moral of this one? Moral? Yeah, usually star things like this have some sort of moral. Well, sometimes things are just strange. That, th that's the moral? <laughs> that is our pair for the day. Well, gee willikers, Mr. Chazikov. <laughs> willikers. Hey, willikers. That's funny. Oh, that was pretty great. Yes, it was. More than a couple of days. Not that we keep adding more to the... Like, she just keeps drawing and adding more. It's quite nice, actually. All right. Let's just experiment. Focus solely on uh, this. Kind of see what I can do here. Because we're going to reach a dead end over here. Also, I sneeze! I'm wondering if that person that went missing was a cat. I should probably go back and look at the footage. Honestly, so that way I can tell. For the record, I am in a sneezing fit. That's why you suddenly keep seeing pauses, and I deeply apologize for that. <laughs> God damn it! Hmm. Pay a visit to the church for a little bit. 
Actually, while we're at it, let's go pay a visit to our good friend Bruce. <gasps> I don't feel right about it. I know, but sometimes the right thing doesn't feel right. I just think it's uh, just wrong to take something when folks don't want you to take it. Well, I feel like God would see this differently. I do, at least. Uh, that's because you're a good person. Hey, hey. Hey again. Hey. So I had this really bad dream last night. Me too. I dreamed I was a pizza, and I was afraid someone would slice me. Ease. Yep. This it make me sad we don't have a pizza place anymore? Got ordered from out by the highway now. Tragic. I had a dream I was a goose flying south, and I had to uh, keep up with the other gooses, or I'd get lost. That's sad. Torn a good dream. What are y'all talking about? Big meeting coming up. City council. Yep. About. Well, about Bruce here. Oh. Wow, that's intense. We'd appreciate your prayers. This is precisely the kind of time where God shows up. Hope so. Me too. Are they gonna like offer him shelter or something like that? So that way he's not homeless? Are those three nerds still over here? No, they are not. But oddly, the music stopped. And now the music is back. Ah, Bruce, that's why I sound like you a little bit here. Oh, goodness gracious. You know what? I could probably not get tired of a lot of the same sights most of the time. Like, it's mostly the dialogue that's keeping me truly invested. And that and the, just the character. Well, so, now that we're on better footing with Mom, let's see how she's doing. Hey, hey, church mom. Hey, heathen daughter. Oh, I'll make it in here someday. But come on, seriously, no one likes getting up on Sunday. I find it very enriching. Your father does too. Mostly. But he attends, and that's important. And he knows it means a lot to me. All right, well, guilt thoroughly tripped. You do work for the church. That's not what faith is like, hon. There's more grace than condemnation. Kinda. Whatever. All right, I'm out. See you later, sweetie. Okay, good. Very good. Okay, much better. So today's my last day. Oh dear, we're gonna miss you. It happens so fast. Let us know how it is. I will, I'll come visit. Can't leave you two fend fend yourselves. Oh dear, what are we going to do without you? Y'all wanna go see a movie or something? Yeah, let me get settled in. And we can go on an outing. And you'll see me whenever you go for groceries. That's true. I ain't going far. Not far at all. Puffy. Cigarettes. And that guy's got no thoughts in his head whatsoever. Delightful. Now, I could go visit her. However, there's a couple of things that I do want to go check out before I do anything. One thing that I apparently missed, that I'm a very dumb person, is I can do this. Yeah. Apparently I missed out on this, like an absolute dork. Somebody up there. Huh? Am I breaking into somebody's house? Huh? Wow, so this is where this stuff ended up. I remember the spring parade. It was so much fun. 
Until the year that Mallard P. Blooming Bro snapped his tether and ran off over Chris Evans. Huh? Then they canceled the parade. Cowards. They couldn't cage Mallard. Mallard needed to be free. And neither ropes nor the poor legs of Chris Evans could hold him back. He fought, he fucking, he ran somebody over! I wonder what happened to both of them. Well, one of them had to go to the hospital because he got ran over. Battery's dead. I hope he's not dead. After the parade got canned, there wasn't much going on in the spring. But we still did the Easter basket blessing at the church. And ate special pretzels. We didn't bother to bless those. Profane pretzels. Ah, who's in the mood for some profane pretzels? Or blasphemy cake? Oh my god, these flowers are fake as hell. Mallard deserves a better memorial. Mallard. Plastic flowers are like, super depressing for some reason. Dead flowers are less depressing than plastic ones. I mean, kinda? What? Oh my god! Mallard! Oh wait, Mallard was the... Oh. What have they done to you? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mallard P. Blooming Grill. One of my absolute favorite things when I was a kid. Out of the spring parade floats. Dude, this is a tomb. This is a Mallard's tomb. Mallard, dear dead Mallard. You were my favorite anything when I was a kid. I ran to the spring parade to see you. You were like a big beaky dinosaur. Kind of. Mallard, you're still amazing forever. Oh, Mallard. Probably left here by the Possum Springs Chamber of Commerce. Forgotten. But I found you. And I know you're here. And still a springtime terror. I'll keep you a secret, Mallard. But I'll visit. Huh? Mallard, you're pregnant! I... It's one of those God things! Like when you have a baby because God? Holy crap, you're the cutest vermin! Who's the best vermin? You are! You look so hungry. Is that why you're... Not doing anything? I'll come back with food. Don't die. Okay, so I gotta go find some food for Mallards. It's locked, what the hell? That's a fire hazard. I mean, kind of? No, so is this thing clearly marked as something it is not? I'm coming back for you, exit door. And we're gonna have a little chat. My boot. Worst exit, easily. Yes, absolutely. Oh, certainly. Yes, ow! This is not what I expected. Okay, hold on. There we go. Hey! Now, who's this up here? Trucker! Ugh. Not what I wanted to do. Oh. oh, there we go. Shortcut! That's how you do it. At least I think that's how you do it. I? Did you go to Harfest? Yeah. Uh, ended up in a play because my friend B screwed it up. Oh, 
I ate pizza and watched Blood Gorgon. Oh! Blood Gorgon? Italian movie from like 1980. Lots of blood, but it's uh, like theatrical and uh, stuff. Girls boarding school. Bunch of ghosts kidnapping them. Taking them to the... To the Blood Gorgon? Yep. Hmm. Is something wrong? Nah, just... I think I saw a ghost something last night. Uh, I'm not sure. That sounds kind of awesome. It was like the opposite of awesome. Oh. Sorry. No, that's cool. I'll see you later. Uh, good luck with your ghost problem. Thanks. You see someone messed up the mural in the tunnel? Yeah. <laughs> uh, pretty funny. I mean, uh, very weird and bad. Any idea who did it? Nope. Lots of suspects, though. Yeah, whole town full of suspects. You know why I else would die from that? I'm a lucky girl. Cat, person. Wait. Anyway, let's go back down. Wait. Oh, those are the council members for a second there. Ah, that dude's not here. I see. <gasps> I bet some rat babies would love a delicious pretzel. Wait, what? Okay, 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 okay. You're only gonna get one shot at this. Just gotta freeze and he looks over. Even if you're holding a pretzel. No movement. It's simple psychology. You've done this before. Still got it. Easy, easy, easy. Okay, go. Okay, let me get a feel for what he does. I am the Bandit Queen. All right, now I can go back to the rats. Later. First things first. Oh, hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello there, May. Feeling better? As well as to be expected, I suppose. That's good. Did you want to talk about your grandfather? Yeah. Well, Possum Springs was built on our backs and the backs before us. Time was... They didn't pay the people in real money. Paid in little tokens and bills stamped with the company name. Good at the company store. For company goods. Back in school they showed us some of those. Weird quarters and stuff. Your grandfather remembered. His daddy experienced it firsthand. Mine boss came into town, driving a big fancy car. That night I met your grandfather. A real bastard, that boss. God forgive him. Your grandfather runs out of the dance. I think he was a bit drunk or just stupid in some brave way. He shouts, The guts of all bosses! He all of a sudden has a hunting knife from somewhere, and he slashes the boss's tires. <laughs> wow! He picks up a rock and puts it right through the windshield. Then he climbs up. Uh, I'm sorry, this part is a bit rude. Holy shit, don't stop! He pees through the windshield hole. This is amazing! Did they catch him? Ah, just me and a few other folks saw it. I trot over to him, and we run off down the alley. Past the AOK -okay drugstore. Big field, big parking lot nowadays. Stars fat and bright. I guess we were both pretty drunk. One thing led to another. Oh! Okay. Wait, when was this? A very long time ago. Was he? So what happened with the car? Got towed away. Police couldn't get new witnesses. Wait a minute, did those two do the reverse polka? I bet you those two did the reverse polka. 
Oh, we weren't snitches about that kind of thing. Damn right. So like I said, you got troublemaker blood. <laughs> Jeez, I never knew this. I don't think your dad even knows. I bet not. You gonna tell him? No? Secret keeper like me, eh? I just think it'd be a weird conversation. You may find someday it isn't so strange. I wanted to pass this story along to you. It was one night, one thing he did, in a lifetime of nights and things he did. What you want to do with that is part of your story now. Aww. I can't talk much more for today. I'd like to know more about him. This is crazy. I'll see you, May. Sooner or later. Okay. Bye, Miss Rosa. Bye for now, May Baroski. I like you, Rosa. You're nice. I like the little stories that she tells. Oh boy, here we go. Hey, uh, I have a weird question, but is anyone missing? What? Like, anyone you know who was out last night and didn't come back? Uh, I don't think so. What's going on? Nothing. I thought I saw something. Hey, uh, tell us if this is something. Just be careful, okay? Keep an eye out. And let me know if you see anything weird, okay? I mean, you all hang out together constantly. You're safer than anyone else I know. Yeah, I bet they're weirded out by this, but it was a good idea to warn them. Like, if they're together, it increases the possibility that they'll be okay. For the most part. I think. Now then! It's wet again, and I'm cold again. It's just rain. Hey, uh, why are we still standing out here? Someone asked who? Good question, why are you guys standing out? I mean, old man Jenkins! Well, they oh wow, they actually boarded it up. Is someone moving in? Probably something dumb. I miss you, pizza place. Yeah. Oh, uh, let's go say hi to, uh, Angus. You up for band practice in a bit? I guess. Weird night. Oh, so? I'll tell you about it later. Oh, okay, that was literally it. All right. All right. Band practice. Old man Jenkins! Right, let's go give this food over to those those little mice. Oh. Or some bullshit. You hear me, statue? I guess you were drafted. Ugh. Died before you got to enjoy the statue they made of you. Garbage. You can't make me go to war. I'll go underground. I'll join some sort of group that's against war and stuff. We'll blow up war stuff and sabotage other... War stuff. I live in the shadows for decades. No address. Always on the run. Living in a trailer in the desert. I'll be, oh, it'll be awesome. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure it would be miserable. At least, oh God. I don't even want to think about it. It would be miserable. Not being able to talk to your friends, being stuck in a place that you don't like, and then just having to constantly on the run from things you don't agree with and just a lot of bad stuff let's be perfectly honest let's go give this food over yeah I gotta open it every time of course I do give this pretzel to the kids All right, my little Miller Co. Rats. Time to eat! Wow, you're hungry. Very hungry. I guess I'm your mom now? I don't know if I'm 
ready to be a mom. Achievement unlocked. Mother of Vermin. Ah. I have now acquired rat friends. As opposed to the current rat friend that I got on Discord. And my buddy. I will admit though, I've seen like videos of like pet rats and they are some interesting little pets. Like, they're actually kind of smart if you think about it. Hmm. Right, before I go check up on B. Actually, yeah, I should probably go hang out with B next. I know I, I think I should hang out with Greg, but I, I, I'm afraid of like leaving things hanging with B. I just, I don't know, I would feel bad, but then I would feel bad for neglecting Greg. Ugh. One day that door will open. Wait a minute, you're the guy that works at B Store! Hey, dude. Hey, you working here now? Yep. Sucks. But it pays. Question, how do they fit a kitchen in there? Barely. What do you do here? Grill man and janitor. I cook and mop. At the same time? Yes. You're useless to me. What the fuck, man? I didn't do anything to you. Is... What's his face here? There he is. What the fuck is the police doing here? Hey. What's up, kid? You smell weird. Why is my aunt's car here? That's your aunt? Yeah? Still weird that like makes you half cup? You'll never have half catch me half cup, huh? <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. But I know I'm in the mood for fried potatoes. Huh? You go to Harfest? Huh? Nah, over it. Of a weird time. Weird bad time, actually. It's a guaranteed weird bad time. Yeah. Are those people from yesterday still here? I don't know. We're not, like, good friends or anything. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I thought you'd know. I was wondering if they ever met Casey. Out there somewhere. I can ask. I used to ask. I just hate thinking about him out there all by himself. Ah, uh, Casey's tough. He'll be fine. When you gotta go, when you gotta get out, you gotta get out. Yeah, I guess. Well, see you at band practice. Real talk. Do you actually like watching us play? Yeah, I mean, you're not good, but yeah. Not my style. What is your style? Black metal, the, the thrash crossover, hip hop. I like Witch Dagger, the kind of metal. Oh yeah, like that Doom shit, right? That the dooga. Totally! Uh, what? You know one time a guy followed me home? Like a guy from the tracks. What? Okay, whatever I get. The music stopped. Oh wait. Never mind, it's literally just resetting. Okay. That timing was really good though. What'd you do? It was some it was like some night back in the summer. And down in the corner of my eye, I could kind of see this dude take this turn out of the parking lot and start creeping up the hill, like 50 feet back. But like, I didn't want to look right at him. Uh, ah! I took a detour through the woods and sat in a tree. It was getting dark, but like, I could see him standing just off the road, waiting for me to come down. Oh my god. Holy shit! What'd you do? After it got dark, I climbed down and got up the hill real quick. Ah! Yeah, it was a weird bad time. Ah! I am so upset right now. <laughs> I know, right? See ya. What the fuck? What were you doing out here last night? I saw someone kidnap someone, like a kid. What were you doing out here last night? I saw this. Tell me what you saw again. Someone in a big old coat with someone over their back. Uh-huh. And you chased them down here? 
Yeah, and I got to the fence and they were up in the woods. All right. Thank you, May. Ugh, I knew you were just gonna brush this off. May, there's been no missing person reports. Bullshit, there's a missing person poster! That tends to happen when a kid goes missing from someone like Harfest. Hell, I got six calls about kids out too late. There would be a report. I'm reporting! This! This right here! This is a report! Hey, there's no break in the fence. So? So unless someone could jump this thing while carrying a teenager who hasn't been reported as missing... I didn't specify that it was a teenager. Any theories, May? They could have gone around the fence. I don't know, May. This fence goes out along the parking lots, almost to the tracks. For you to be right behind them, and then to be miraculously on the other side of the fence. Uh... I was running around half the night, getting after teenage bullshit, and people scared of clotheslines and noises. I, you, you, uh... Are you trying to kick off a horror movie? No one believes the girl who saw the ghost. Well, I have bad news for you. The cop always dies. I'm sorry. We're talking about a ghost now. It must have gone through the fence. Really, May? No, yeah, I don't know. I'm really tired. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought. Will you at least check the woods? May, me and Dan McConnell were up there this morning. Because of what you said last night. From the fence up to the old man. We found a couple of teenagers on the gross mattress. We saw some worried looking deer. And one deer hunter out too early. That can't be it. That is it. The cop always dies. I heard you, you s God damn it. You know what? I feel like she's hiding something from me. Maybe I am hallucinating, but I don't want to think I'm hallucinating. Then again, if I am hallucinating, it would correlate to the dreams that I've been having lately. That could be a thing. Fuck, I don't know. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna go talk to B. I, uh... I really need to talk to her. Old Man Jenkins! I need, I need to go see how she's doing. Uh, before I go talk to Greg. Also, I noticed that that dude's not working here anymore, so I guess that's good? Hey. Hey, B. Hey, uh, thanks again for last night. I owe you one. It's fine. It was fun. My night got, like, really weird and bad after. How so? Play later, I guess. Still like putting it together. Okay, well, let me know how that goes. Hey, Will. I think it's band practice day. Yeah, I'm gonna go hunt down Greg. Shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, no, he's at the Snack Falcon. I don't know how that guy stays employed. He steals constantly, breaks supplies for fun, and leaves work whenever he wants. Greg plays by his own rules. It feels more like the world plays by his rules. Well, I don't even know what that means. Still, whoa. All right, bye. All right, it is band practice day. All right, let's do it. Hopefully I do better this time, because last time I did miserably for the button placements. I'm playing Friday Night Funkin' except everything's a lot slower, which means that I should be able to do it theoretically better, but I can't because I'm an idiot. Anything else in the store? Okay. What's up, dude? Uh. Huh? Long night, weird night. What's up? I'll tell you about band practice. Oh! What you up to? 
Just saying hello. You gonna have to band practice? Yeah, let's do this. Back to watch this fiasco again, huh? Yep. You're our only fan, Germ. I'm just here to be entertained. I'm a gentleman of leisure. Nice. Ready to play? Yeah! Go convince Greg. He's all slow today. Can do. Hey, Angus. Hey, hey, May. What's up? Uh, nothing. I'm having a very boring week. Geez, I'm envious. Eh, how about that demon tower? Yeah! What do you think? It's fun! It's hard. It's fun. Yeah. Oh, psh, clang. Ah! Huh, huh, uh, Was that scat singing? Okay, I'm embarrassed now. Oh, that was cute. Hey, dude. You okay? You look tired. Ugh, I was up all night. They were fixing the roof door, and it was super loud. Roof door? Yeah, the door at the top of the stairs. Uh, that goes out onto the roof. And now I can, like, uh, I don't know, run from that door down the lobby and up to the roof. And pee out the side of the building. Yeah, maybe not. What's to stop random people from doing that, too? Dude, it'll be fine. Sorry, I I'm just tired. There. Ready to go? Yeah, let's do this shit. Okay, I gotta make sure I do this right. I don't want to fuck this up. Pumpkinhead guy. Okay. What the actual? Um, I, I, I look. I hit the star button because Jesus fucking Christ, you can't just throw that at me like that. I am, uh. Listen, I am, that was, <sighs> I, how the, D difficulty spike much? Or is this just a punishment for me being sucky at rhythm games like this? So, you're just not gonna play mostly? Yeah, is this your thing? I think it's barely knowing this song to begin with. Whew. So fast. You just pushed a button! I am so tired. 
destroyed my vocal cord. Awesome. Gonna sound so husky. And anyway, I don't even know if they're dreams or not. And this guy, who I think was a ghost, kidnapped some kid also. I think it was in my head after. Also, me pressing start apparently skipped it. Okay. Oh, uh, cool, I guess. That... I... Jesus Christ. While I was sleeping. And anyway, yeah, I think I need to do something. Because this is scary. Well, that's not what I was expecting to hear tonight. Are you okay, dude? Oh. No. I'm kind of freaked out. It probably wasn't a ghost. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, definitely. Ugh. Okay, fine, I'll go figure this out myself. Aw, oh, dude, don't be like that. You got us. Aw, dudes. Or you got us. Okay, fine. So we need to maybe see if there's like some ghostly stuff happening around here. Uh, like, um, from a source we can trust. Such as... Does the newspaper have like a ghost section? What? Why is that a dumb question? You know, we could go check the library. For books about it? No, they had the local paper on file. Going back a century, if there's some secret history of kidnap or ghosts, we'll find it there, probably. Oh wow, I didn't know they had that. I thought it was just like a broken down old bunch of books. When's the last time you were at the library? We actually have one of the nicer ones around. Oh, how? Rich dude who paid for it way back when? Yeah, they set up a foundation and... Never mind, let's go. Uh, can we regroup after? Uh... Sure. Okay, we'll be back. Ooh, ghosties. That's the spirit. The library. Good, they don't hate me for fucking up that miserably. This is a big library. Is this like the underpass, though? Look, jobs. Weird, like, when this was painted, it was like, hey, look out the window. We're all working. Things are great. Now it's like, one of the graffiti murals after someone gets shot or hit by a car. This mural is really affecting you. I forget that we live in separate realities. Mine's clearly better. Uh, was that necessary? No, not really. I'm just a dick. Pumpkin, head guy, I'm dead. Yeah, I did miserably there. God. Please. Please make me feel better. Please tell me I'm not the only one that fucked that up miserably the first time. Alright, so B's in my party. Alright. Hey. Closing in two hours. Okay, cool. Any idea where the microfish is? Microfish. Microfish! Third floor. Okay, thanks. Up, up, up. Slow night? Yep. Spooky here all alone? I'd be spooked. Eh. Larry's wandering around here somewhere. Larry? I don't know who Larry is. Also, is, is it just my... Uh, I'm sorry, are there like three red books here amongst the blue and the green? That's very out of color. It looks weird. Rearrange your books! Unless that's a large amount of manga. Somebody's reading Chainsaw Man. One of these days I'm gonna read Chainsaw Man. One of these days. Looks like someone left something open on this one. It's a resume. Bob Targ. Born 1967. 50 years old. Let's see. Experience mining, construction, well drilling. I never think about getting a job when I'm old. 50's not really old. I mean, 
You should have money then, right? Ideally. It should be like, guaranteed. It should be guaranteed in general. You gonna join my young socialist chatterbox group? Maybe? Kids books! Clearly. Holy crap! What? It's Charity Barity! What's Charity Barity? How do you not know who Charity Barity? I assume this is something from school? The school of being five freaking years old! Right. So this is a thing you liked as a kid. Oh! I hated Charity Barity! It does look really hateable. It was like... You were kidnapped by a cult. You're under some curse. Oh, let's go with the cult. And when they were like brainwashing you instead of some cult guy with a wavy dagger and magic mask. Th that's not. Okay, yeah, go on. Instead of that, it was this effing pink nightmare. You were scared of it? Oh, I was bored to death. It was like talking forever about like being kind to others. And like, I don't know. Helping an old neighbor do engine repair? That sounds... Nice. Charity Berity helps old Mr. Plunkel fix his hovercraft. No, that's the worst part. It always rhymed. Charity Berity. Pink Knight Merity. Charity Berity. I just don't care -ity. Jeez. They sure made a lot of these books. I think they're still making them. This one looks pretty old. Charity Barity. Danger every Warity. Okay, that's vague and disconcerting. It just kept updating that one book. Could have. But they didn't. And you know why? Actually, fuck, I don't know. Could you please tell me? Because I, I, I need to know the answer. Charity Barity. I don't think we had any icons like that back in school. We just had like a. Oh my god, I can barely remember what my library used to look like as a kid. Oh my god! I had like two libraries. One for elementary school and then one for, uh... Ugh, wow, it's dusty up here. It's old up here! Sure it is. Maybe your ghost is up here? Yep, ghost. Or something. Whatever he was, we walked right through a chain link fence. Or flew over it. Or something. While carrying something. Oh, right. Well, that's even more impressive. So we're gonna go find this guy. Because he took someone. And he's like, somehow connected to this thing I've been going through. And that's not good. What? That all sounded a lot more badass in my head. It's okay, it was fine. Okay, so they were kind of having a somewhat okay relationship right now. Why is this computer on? Oh, right there she is. Oh! What? So... I have no idea how to use it. Really? Not, I can't know how to do everything. I'm sorry, but what expertise have you brought to this thus far? This whole thing was in my idea. No, your idea was ghost hunting. My idea is to do at least a tiny bit of research on it. If you think it's so stupid, why are you here? Because you're my friend, you asshole. Aww. Ugh. Okay, it does seem like they did make up a, a bit, which... Are we friends, Beatrice? Here, let me get this set up, and don't ever talk to me like that ever again. You're going to sound like one of those oo-woo bastards. Did you just say oo-woo? Oh, god damn it. Move over. We'll be here all night if your dumbass is in charge. Whoa, hello. Okay. Tragedy at Stafford Mine? Alright, so what are we looking for? I want to steer. No. Oh, I'm steering. Ow! Jeez, May. Hmm. Sorry. 
Okay, okay, okay. Uh, how do we do this? Uh. Step one, look at the screen. Step two, move around and look at stuff. Step three, find ghost. Sure. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, okay. Uh. Stanley T. Possum statue is officially open to the public, and we have to say we are smitten. For two cents, one can enter Stanley. It's been quite a lovely time looking at the Possum Springs of yesteryear in the museum. Enjoying some popped corn and fresh lemonade in the snack parlor, decorated with Tiffany glass electric lights before heading up full to see the sights of our beloved town through the eyes of the Grand Possum. There is even a beautiful train a diorama that will delight both young and old. We predict Stanley T. Possum will be a sight that all passing through our town will desire to behold and will be sure to draw many crowds. This is interesting, but... Yeah, not exactly about a ghost. No ghost to be found here. But when you say ghost, it sounds like you don't believe me. Tragedy at Stafford Mine. An explosion occurred at 6.20 a.m. at the Stafford Mine. All work has ceased while men attempt to rescue any survivors. So far, three men have been pulled out alive along with 20 dead. The explosion occurred 10 miles deep in the mine and only one group of men were able to escape before the elevator's rope snapped and the next group of men plummeted to their death. So far, hopes of finding more survivors is low. The main path of the tunnel caved in due to the explosion and supervisors are still attempting to piece together exactly where everyone was during the incident. I think we need to go. Anyway. Whoa, hello! Severe violence broke out at the Stafford Mine Strike today. The bosses arrived to attempt to renew talks and were taunted by some of the children present. Rocks were thrown and the National Guard and strike bearers opened fire on the crowd. After a few minutes, the smoke cleared and the gory scene revealed. Nine miners were dead with a dozen more injured. A young brother and sister were also shot dead as they were delivering a package of food to their father and uncle, who was on strike below when the shooting broke out. Photograph of the two children aged seven to nine were shot in cold blood circulated far outside of our little county. The heinous act led to a personal visit from the governor to the strike site to meet with strikers. Independent inspectors were also brought in and talks finally began. 45 days since the start of the strike. The bosses have agreed to comply to the safety standards and other demands. Here we go. Spectral happenings at Possum Jump. Two local sweethearts were startled this past Sunday by night as they hiked along the wooded overlook known as Jump. According to the Lovebirds, at approximately 11.45 p.m., a figure appeared to walk from the edge of the cliff out into the open air and then disappeared. Forestry workers the next morning were unable to locate any evidence of anyone having leapt from the great height, leaving the exact nature of what the two saw a mystery. A decent hike up the state forest halls, Hills, Possum Jump, is famous for its beautiful view of the Echo Reservoir. It also has historical importance as it hosts the lonely graves of several persons involved in the Possum Massacre. Hey, look at this! Hmm. Ah. Uh, looks like Possum Jump? Let me read it. It's Possum Jump. Okay, yeah, that's back up on the state park, right? Yeah. Ever been up there? Nope! Gonna check it out, though. Go nuts. Okay. Sound off opinion. We would like to remind the men of our town to please refrain from spitting on the sidewalk. This unsanitary habit is unseemly and beneath you. Now, please, parents, please be sure your daughters are not participating in the new trends of skirts showing the ankles! Ah! Oh, my god! Ankles! Almost as terrifying as shoulders. I do not think we need to remind you which road to brimstone this temporary fashion trend will lead your dear daughters down. I have been witnessing more and more teenage girls coming into our town on Saturday night unchaperoned using vulgar slang terms. Certainly unfit for me to print here and blocking the sidewalks by walking arm in arm. They are loud and also flirt with boys unabashedly while smoking cigarettes. These young ladies need to be stopped before our young ladies get any ideas or our boys fall in with the wrong girl. Young men have been seen around Possum Springs engaging in their ridiculous behavior wearing mismatched patterns on their suit. 
This type of outfit may be all the rage in the Bright Harbor, but good luck getting any unrespectable businessman around here to employ you. You all look like a rabbit clowns. Councilman Puchinskaya's plan for Third Street is a joke. What else is there to say? The fuck? The final group of bodies from the 1888 explosion have been recovered, two days shy of the one year anniversary of the tragedy. These five brave, these five men bring the total of dead to 112. Two of the men, Addison Pine and Henry Harvey, were the ones who set off the explosion. Though, mine bosses have been informed that gas pockets were present in the section. They elected to not inform Pine and Harvey for the possible danger. The other three bodies belong to Peter Bledsoe, Christian Stanoff, and Peter Latha. Peter Latha's funeral arrangements will be handled by Father Latiz, and Anne's widow has since returned to Hungary with orphans. I like these little bits of information here. Strange but true! A tale of teeth! Strange Butcher is our ongoing series about the weird and forgotten aspects of Deep Powell County, Chester, and Kelly. Bad bosses figure heavily into Possum Springs history, and the small but tale of crime in secret societies is no exception. The story goes, in 1870, a local mine boss was skimming workers off the pay. A group of miners confronted him while he was in the act. He denied everything, with many a slur and punched the miners' leader, Darnell Glace, in the face, causing him to lose his last remaining tooth. The miners knew how much Darnie's tooth meant to him, and they descended on the boss. A few held the boss down while others removed all his teeth with pliers. But passed out to the miners and a secret society was created out to the vow to protect the workers' interests. That's fucked up. Do you not know how fucking hard it hurts to freaking pull out a tooth? Jesus Christ. Membership was based on owning one of these teeth and each was marked with a symbol of their choosing. These symbols were used around the coal patch to organize meetings and make announcements. The boss survived this attack, but never named his attackers for fear of implicating himself. When died a few years later, members dug up his grave to retrieve his skull. It was used in ceremonies performed before going out for retribution. All would gather around, place their teeth in the sockets, and later retrieve their tooth after the retribution was completed. Upon a member's death, their tooth would be passed to a new member. What the fuck is this cold shit? Teeth of members in jail would be left in their sockets until their fates were decided. After the strike of 1889, the society dwindled. Occasionally, a descendant of one of these men will find tooth strange markings in their home. Strange, but what the fuck? Is there any new uh, ghost stuff? Hey. As the children are quick, as the school children are quick to inform you, Possum Springs has at least one resident who won't show up on any census survey. Little Joe, purportedly the ghost of Joe Shade, a miner who died in mysterious circumstances some decades ago, is a favorite spook story of the whimsical and weird members of our community. His most recent activities seem to involve getting up out of his coffin in the old section of Possum Springs Cemetery and strolling around unnerving visitors to the largest graveyard in Deep Hollow County. Grave has become a destination but unruly and often destructive local use. And as such, Possum Springs City Council is considering erecting an iron gate to protect the historical tombstone that filled the small hollow where Joe Shade lied. Police have also stepped up patrols in the area. Born thrill seeker. May not see a ghost, but may see a fine for Oh, look! Scooch so I can see. Graveyard, that's a gimme. I mean, if you're looking for ghost stuff, that's where they make a lot of them. Looks like they saw them in the old section. Oh, cool, that's where his grave is. I'm actually interested in that. How could you not be interested? This is like actual dangerous ghost stuff. I like history. Ghosts are history. History that won't stay history. <laughs> that's actually pretty good. Okay. The pie piracy! Dear citizens, please make note to keep your pie safe during the pleasant weather we are experiencing. <clears throat> Several ladies have reported pies from their kitchen disappearing at alarming rates. Even worse, the picky culprit is leaving behind only the rhubarb pies. Till this criminal is caught and the bad weather returns, we remind our housewives to make use of their pie safes indoors. 
Oh, it's like rhubarb. Rhubarb. Oh. Randolph Stafford, owner of the Rebels House of Mine Workers, partnered with Samuel Coulson of Oakworks. Click. A railroad magnate and prominent uh, business owner Harrison Schrygeist to make some stunning improvements throughout the town. The four men desired to build a model of progressive cleaning living right here in Possum Springs. Bill Miner's double houses in Elm Street will be torn down and replaced with spacious single homes. A new elementary school will be opened nearby along with a state of the art recreation center. We have Arnold Applebaum. This is an addition improvements. Randolph Stafford promised the previously striking miners. Okay. Huh? Hello. The houses on Lark Street have been evacuated after the discovery of gas buildup in the basements was found to have led to hallucinations and scattered members of the households. For the past several weeks, residents have been complaining of family members who began hearing voices or seeing things that were not there. One older woman was found having an animated discussion with an empty chair. When pressed, she calmly explained that she was talking to her sister who had passed away some 50 years ago. Two nights ago, the son of Carson Zimmer ran out of the house and leapt into Cooper's Pond at one mile up the road. Moments before this, the child had been readying for bed and according to another sip, became increasingly agitated. The last words he uttered were about some sort of song before he dashed out of the house and into the night where his watery grave awaited him. The last event persuaded residents to request help from a fish it is St. Louvain's Lantern, a phenomenon where exposure to specific underground gases leads certain victims to experience waking dreams, auditory hallucinations, and the sense of unseen presences. Preliminary tests indicate that gas is present in the homes and mining officials are... This one... No ghost! But... Th there's... The gases! Hold up. Here we go. Ghostly rumors haunt new historical society. The Possum Springs Historical Society's conversion of the Strygeist House into its new headquarters and education center has hit a snag. Custodial head Jed Nussom has resigned, citing strange occurrences in the old manor. I'd be there after I was doing my work, and I'd hear someone walking around trying to doorknobs. Came out to see who was fooling, but there was nobody there, said Nussom. Trying to get this map room operational for the children. All the while, I'm looking over my shoulder, expecting to see God knows what. Mr. Nassomes had previously requested to work only daylight hours when other staff were present in the building. Even that proved to be too terrifying. I don't go to the off-limit area anymore. I don't go past second floor, and then only go to the office. I know the others laugh, say I'm seeing Little Joe or something, but they can't go or spit. Little Joe, for the uninitiated, was a local ghost story popular some years ago. The Possum Springs Historical Society has refused to comment on this. Hey, hey, hey! Ghost spotted! Historical Society. History that won't stay history. In history place. History place. Yeah, I've never been. You didn't go back in school? I think this is when I wasn't in school. Oh, after the softball incident. Yeah. Moses watched TV and did therapy. The softball incident. Okay, uh... Did she hit a ball so goddamn hard that it hurt a kid so badly that they had to pay out of pocket and get in debt? Fuck! Well, it's actually a pretty cool old house. Used to be owned by one of the mine owners or something. Railroad, mine, steel mill, something like that. An actual haunted house! Uh, no. Elementary school kids are there all the time. They have, like, summer arts and crafts programs. Oh. Well, so we're checking out. Okay, well, I'd like three leads. Let's boogie! Let's boogie? Also, is that it? Uh... I'm gonna look at more stuff. Let's see. Oh wow, this is gnarly. And awesome. <laughs> oh my god. Extra dialogue, I guess. 
No ghost here. All right. How do I? The old pickaxe hardware store is set to have its grand opening this Saturday. We received a sneak peek of the store yesterday and our town will benefit greatly from this new addition. Roy Berg is bringing 25 years of building experience into his new venture and has stocked the shelves with all the nuts, bolts, and nails you could find for any project, plus the latest in tools. Stop by to see the latest trends and everything from hand saws to hammers. Best of luck to Mr. Berg. All right, can I go now? Oh, there we go. So we've got some leads. Can I borrow your car this week? Do you even have a license? I mean, n no, regardless, but do you? No license, no credit cards, don't believe in money. You just believe in other people's cars and money. I didn't choose to be born into this society. Uh, okay, well, I have, you know, a job. So I can't drive you around to all these spots. I can maybe do the graveyard. I need to go there anyway. Cool, I'll see if Greg wants to do the other two. You know, like, and I probably don't have to say this, but just because something happened in the past doesn't mean it's going to happen again. Hey, nerd, ever hear that th history repeats? It does. It does the same thing over and over again. So we've just been in a loop since we were living in caves? Yeah, that's science. Oh, my freaking god. You are a very weird individual, May. Yeah, I know. Wait, what the? Huh? <clears throat> what is... Is that Miss Kelsey? Oh, wow. Haven't seen her since graduation. She was always kind of a badass. School district did not fund that art program at all. But she made it work. She was like some sort of art teacher survivalist. Wow. I never realized. I think they pay her in bits of string and empty soda cans. Thank you all for coming to this second meeting. Of the Possum Springs Poetry Society. Do you want to stick around for this? Yes! Tonight we have new poems from myself and Fisherman Jones and Selma and Forrester. I will start us off with one of my own. He's from some big city, right? You don't actually pay her in string, right? Yeah. How'd she end up here? Who knows? <clears throat> Letter to my worst student. To my worst student, the subject of my stories, I tell friends back home when they ask about life. Out here in the sticks, it's you. I worry. At the end of my life, you will be the only one I remember. Why did you key my car? I know it was you, Brian. Thanks, everyone. Is that legal? Is that legal? What? Talking about details about students like that. She didn't name names. Yeah, she did. Okay, no fool names. Next up, Fisherman Jones. Fisherman Jones has a poem for us. Uh, two. Uh, two poems. They're short, though. Two poems! Take it away. Uh... Thy folks, uh, thanks. This is called Tunnel Eels. Tunnel Eels, Tunnel Eels. I do not know how it feels to be in darkness all the time, born in the muck and raised in slime. But neither do you know the paths I've trudged, so it hardly is your place to judge. Okay, that's one poem. The next one is shorter. This is called Tunnel Frogs. Tunnel Frogs swim in the dark. Must think it would be a lark. To be a fisherman like me. But what do you know, Amphibi? Uh, that's it. That's great. Thank you, Fisherman Jones. He was really worried about what fish thinks. He definitely talks to the actual fish. Oh, most definitely. Finally, a poem by Selma and Forrester. Yay, Selmers! Uh, thanks, May. You know her? Dude, she's like your neighbor. Oh. She writes these really funny, dorky short poems. Well, I'm up for something short and funny. This is called, uh, 
There's no reception in Possum Springs. <laughs> She's not wrong. <clears throat> no reception here. I wave my black phone. In the air like a flare, like a prayer, but no reception. I read on the internet, baby face boy billionaire. Phone app sold. Made more money in one day. Than my family, over a hundred generations. More than my whole world ever has a world where house buying jobs became rent paying jobs, became living with family jobs. Boy billionaires. Money is access, access to politicians, waiting for us to die, lead in our water, alcohol and painkillers. Replace my job with a nap. Replace my dreams of a house and a yard. With a couch in the basement. The future is yours. Forced 24-7. Entrepreneurs. I just want a paycheck in my own life. I'm on the couch in the basement. There in the house and the yard. Some night I will catch a bus out to the west coast. And burn their silicon city to the ground. Holy shit! Wow! Damn! Huh. She rhymed entrepreneur. I don't even know what that word means. Uh, thanks everyone. Is she always like this? No. Wow. Huh. Thanks everyone, see you in two weeks. Yeah, that was a different kind of poem. What the hell, Selmer? Hey, Selmers! What? I like your weird poem! Thanks! I wrote it myself! Uh, wait, was the assumption that she didn't write it her- Nice work, Smelmer! I don't like that nickname! What are you two- Sorry! It's cool! Oh my god, can we go now? Poets of Possum Springs Hey! Okay, thanks for coming. We live here. Right! So... Find out anything about your ghost? Yeah! Tell him, B. There were some newspaper clippings that talked about a ghost. Not just any ghost, Little Joe! Or, Little Joe, sorry. I, I did not read that right. I forgot the comma. I don't really remember Little Joe. He's a ghost miner. He died in mysterious circumstances. Wow. I know, right? Mysterious. I thought you were, like, afraid of this ghost. Like, filled with, like, I don't know, dread and shit. I'm terrified! Okay. So, it mentioned three different places we can all check out. But I have work and stuff. Yeah, Greg and I also have work. You guys skip out on work all the time. Maybe we can, like, split this up. Share custody of you and your ghost. What places were you thinking about? Uh, the graveyard? I call that one. It's close and not illegal. Is there an illegal one? Ugh. Sure is. The Historical Society. You know you don't have to, like, y you know, break in. Uh, the people there, like, get paid to show it to you. Anyway... I'm in for the Historical Society. Awesome! So, what did I get stuck with? Possum Jump! <gasps> I know Possum Jump! We used to go there in scouts! Perfect! Okay. I need to, like, you know, actually get home. And do work. This is gonna be awesome! And also, I'm scared to death! Apparently you are! Huh. So, thought, if I die, Selmer should write a poem about it. Ha! <laughs> also, a good poet, yes. Um. Hey, Dad. Ugh. Yeah, seems like that's going around. The ugh. Yappers. So, uh, you and mom had a bit of a fight yesterday, huh? Yeah. I thought you two were getting along. 
We were. We are. It, just a bump. You two, always two alike. I guess. I got your chill and her smart ass-ness. That's kind of how it is. I got my dad's smart mouth. Actually, I'm like the third generation. My grandpa's a smart ass. My dad's a smart ass. I'm a smart ass. It's just a long line of smart assery. And. I just hate to see you two on the outs again. It'll be fine. We're cool. So, we're having money problems? What? No, we're fine. Dad. M May. It's fine. It's okay, I'm 20. I can handle it. Nothing to handle. Okay. Might just head up to bed tonight. Sounds good, kid. Been a long couple of days. Yeah, I'm not gonna watch TV with Dad for a little bit. I imagine Dad does not want family to worry, and I, I get that. I say a good night to the bird. Okay, uh... At the computer. Yo! Hey, May. Let me know when you want to go to the park. I looked up a map and it's a pretty straight shot up to the possum's jump. Okay, great. We never really get a chance to hang out. It'll be fun, I think. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Night, sir. Tips hat. Don't you dare tip. I think I should hang out with Angus first. Yo, I looked up the historical society on the internet. Real old, but then they did big renovations. Oh, really? I mean, listen, I'm not saying there's a ghost, but all stuff that just got torn up seems like ghost central. How so? You're a ghost hanging out in an old house, and then someone puts in a pool where you died or something. Haunted pools would be actually pretty scary. I'm spooked. I'm going to bed. Hey, let me know when you want to hit up the cemetery. I should be around most nights this week. I don't know. Thanks, B. Don't thank me too hard. I'm going there anyway, and it's like right down the road. You're ruining this. Oh, in that case, you are so incredibly welcome, and also you better not forget this big favor. That's more like it. I'm falling asleep. Had fun tonight. Sorry if I was grouchy, it's... Fine. Wait, did you fall asleep? <laughs> Oh my gosh, he fell asleep, the pork. <laughs> okay, um, I think I'll hang out with Angus next, but right now, though, that's enough for me. So, at the moment, the only negative that I seem to have dealt with was the band practice, where I, I fucked that up so badly, like, jeez louise. I guess I need to practice the music. I was not ready for that. That felt like a difficulty spike. Um, on a positive, me and mom made up quite effectively, at least somewhat. I got a little bit more information about what happened. It, has some, it might have something to do with a softball incident. And now we've got a plan of ghost hunting. And I think I should hang out with Angus first. I should probably hang out with Angus first. Then, uh... B, because I know she probably wants to get that done as soon as possible. Also hangs out most nights, so does that mean I'll be able to walk out at night? Although that might not be smart, considering the shit that's been going down, but I don't know. Anyway, that's it for me, so if y'all like this, be sure to let me know. Thank you all very much for watching, and hopefully we're gonna go do some ghost hunting. See you all in the next video!